Hello everyone, my name is Ozuzos, and welcome to a Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. Well, I don't know if it's going to be gameplay, well, it, a little bit. <laughs> this is going to be a commentary, post-commentary video. And this is going to be the start of a mini-series known as the Worst Team Fortress 2 Loadouts as a Certain Class. And this episode is going to be the Pyro, which the weapons are, for the main primary weapon, the... I'm sorry, I have no idea if it is the philopal was the blah, 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 blah. That you know the, the yeah what I'm what I'm holding right now, okay? The flamethrower that doesn't have a uh, air blast and you right click it and you get all health back and you get crits. So the reason for that is because you just can't air blast and plus it has a minus something damage reduction and any weapon that has a, a dent sometimes I but damage reduction is usually crap. I say crap, I say crap like crap, instead of crap, I say crap. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> and this flamethrower, I'm, I'm not, there isn't really a bad flamethrower in this game, this, it's just the, probably the worst. Um, like, sure, the, the, if you right click and you get crits, uh, guaranteed crits, if you right click it, if you get your, like, meager filled up, that, that's good. But, without having that, the damage reduction is a lot, and plus you cannot air blast, Listen, right here, I think there was a soldier up here, and he, he killed me with that. If I had a regular uh, flamethrower, I would have been able to air blast him, so... <laughs> yeah, and for my secondary weapon is the... Let's see, the, the reserve shooter. Which, the only reason it's good for Pyro... Don't, don't, don't get me wrong, the reserve shooter is awesome for Pyro. One of my go-to secondary weapons, to be honest. But it's terrible with this class, because the only real use for it... As if you air blast the person, and you, you know, as if you don't know, uh, the reserve shooter gives you mini crits for P people in midair. And usually, if you air blast people and then hurry up and switch out to the reserve shooter, you're going to guarantee you mini crit every time you air blast someone into the air and you shoot them. But with this weapon, you cannot air blast, so it's, it makes its weapon useless. And plus, it's going to be the same as the regular shotgun, but with only three <laughs> shells in it. This makes this gun absolutely useless for this loadout, which is why I put it in there. And as for my melee weapon, I use the Neon Annihilator. So it's called that, you know, the, the Neon Sign. <laughs> this is so terrible, though. It has a 20% damage reduction, and you but you do get guaranteed mini crits if a person is wet or in water. Now. I'll give you wrong, this map doesn't even have water, but there are so there aren't very many maps in Team Fortress 2 that have water. Um, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of custom maps, but plus I only, I only really play payload. I don't like capture points. Is that what it's called? I don't even know. Control points. I don't like that. I don't like uh, I don't know, King of the Hill. I like that every now and then, but and uh, what are the one? Attack and defend. Uh, I mainly just play payload. Keep like that. And there aren't very many. <laughs> Uh, payload maps that have water in them. There's that, a few payload race maps, but I don't. Uh, it's don't quote me on this, but there aren't very many. And so there are a heck of a lot of custom maps with water in them. But uh, just that, when if you see someone in water, you're just gonna shoot them with your shotgun or something. You're never really gonna use the Neon Annihilator, period, because the damage reduction is so terrible. It makes it kind of useless. And I have a strange Neon Annihilator. I think I still have zero kills with it, because I cannot get a kill with this thing to save my life. So yeah, that's why I chose this loadout. I don't really know if I'm going to be talking to this entire thing, because I don't really have anything else to say since I talked about why every weapon in this loadout is crap. So I may just put in this background music and let you just watch the rest of the gameplay. The gameplay is not bad. Don't get me wrong, it's, I mean, it, it is, because I'm terrible with this gun, but it isn't that bad. We actually, I think, we, yeah, we do win. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty close. Uh, this goes on for, for a few more minutes. Oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah, a few more, a few more minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, cut off my commentary right here, and I'll probably put in some background music or something like that. So I hope you enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe if you get. If... <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe if you did. Put in the class in the comments for what you want me to use next. I already have three more of these recorded. Well, I would have by the time you see this, but uh, next time I do record, put in the. Uh, Comments saying what class you want me to do. I'll do any class. I don't really care. <laughs> so, thanks again for watching, and bye bye bye.